welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create three-dimensional long shadows inside of Adobe Illustrator. If you haven't subscribed already, I encourage you to do it and turn on the post notifications so that you don't miss a thing. Let's get started. First of all, let's start creating a new workspace because it's very important. Move on to the Tools panel and choose the Rectangle tool. Navigate to the Shape Fill and choose a color from this swatches, or move down to the foreground and double-click on it so it opens like this. Then choose the specific color you want. Confirm the changes. We don't need the stroke around the shape, so navigate to the top and turn it off. Set the cursor at one size of the canvas. When you see the prompts intersect, it indicates how accurate it is. Click and drag diagonally so that the shape will fill the entire canvas, like so. Navigate to the Tools panel and click on the Move tool to release it. Let's open the Layers panel, press and hold the Control key plus 2 simultaneously to lock the shape onto the canvas. Grab the Text tool and change the fill to white. Click on the canvas and type in your text. I will choose a white color instead of the black. Awesome! Move down to there and click on these alignment icons to center the text into the canvas. With the text selected, go to Edit and copy the text. Repeat the steps, but now click on the option which says Paste in Place. Now that we have created a copy of the text, click on the Horizontal Align top icon to send the copy upwards. Select the main text again and repeat the steps to create a duplicate again. This time, click on the Horizontal Align bottom to send the copy downward like so. Select it and hold Shift. Resize the text from one side and move it with the right arrow direction key. This will render the shadows in an angle similar to 45 degrees perspective. If you want the shadows to render from the center, hold Shift and Alt when resizing the text. Select the eyedropper tool and click on the canvas to sample the color from there. Awesome! This will make the text invincible. Click on the Move tool to release it. Select the middle text, right-click, choose a range and click Bring to Front. Go to the color swatch and choose a fill. You can set a preferred color from here and confirm it. Select these texts by clicking and dragging over it like so. Navigate to the object, go to Blend and click on Make. Repeat the step, but this time click on Blend Options to open it. Change the spacing from Smooth Color to Specified Steps. Use the upward arrow key to increase the blend until it is completely uniform. Or you can choose Specified Distance to create the blend transition automatically. You can check and uncheck that box to see a preview. Click on OK to confirm the changes. Finally, select this text layer and click on the Horizontal Align Center to fix it onto the shadow layer created. The text is now hidden, but don't worry, as you can see the text placeholder. Right-click and go to Arrange and Choose. Bring to Front to reveal the text. Awesome! Select everything, right-click, and group them. Now you can move the text around freely with no hassle. That's it! Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching all the way to the end. I hope you've learned a thing or two. Remember to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and turn on the post notifications. Your comments are highly welcome. Stay tuned and I will see you in the next tutorial.